You know guys, it had been a while since I had listened to a truly stupid song. I am so glad that Cardi B, BB Rexha, Charlie XCX, and Rita Ora have put out the song Girls because I desperately needed something to roast and the song is so, so awful. It's the weirdest, most awful kind of pandering and I am excited to roast it for you today. I'm sorry, that was my angry intro. Here's my, my calmer intro. What do you get when you combine ridiculous, shallow, meaningless pop music with an LGBTQ plus cash grab? You get the song, girls! Well, if you thought Meant To Be, which we roasted last week, was a cash grab with country people, wait till you hear the lyrics of girls. Oh, and spoiler, it completely backfired. They tried to pander and trick people, manipulate people into giving them money for this piece of crap, and <coughs> people did not like it. Surprise! As much as I personally care about my deeply cared for social causes, getting bubblegumified and slapped into a three minute song with meaningless, pointless lyrics in an attempt to make some little pop starlet, or in this case, four pop starlets, even richer, I empathize with everybody who hated the song. And I'd like to volunteer to lead the charge. All right, that's enough intro. Roll the, the credits thing. Guys, welcome to the Pop Song Professor channel where we make English class awesome by explaining and sometimes roasting lyrics. Today we are going to be roasting the lyrics of girls like a little friggin marshmallow. I try to release these videos on Mondays. I'm a day late this week, but that's okay. Comment a song that I should roast next week and we'll see if it happens. And today we're roasting girls by Rita Ora. Basically, girls is all about how Rita Ora and the rest of the three girls presumably who are on this track like having sex with girls. And I'm not here to talk about homosexuality. I personally think it's inherently distasteful the way they treated that community in this music. But let me say the one thing I did appreciate about this song, and that's that this song, if even if it was derivative and pandering and a cash grab and all this other stuff, at least it was the only song ever. It was the first, it was the most original. It was a unique song because it talked about something nobody else had the guts to talk about before, right? Wrong, I can think of three right off the top. Cool for the Summer by Demi Lovato, I Kissed a Girl by Katy Perry, and Born This Way by Lady Gaga. And those are just the uber mainstream ones. Basically, Rita Ora and her team sat down in their little pop song test tube chemistry lab and they they looked at what had been successful before, they looked at what people had talked about, they're like, oh, we can even make it a little bit controversial so people might listen again to try to figure out what we mean. That's exactly what they did and they released this complete crap fest. And with that being said, let's get into the roast. As if though that wasn't already enough roast. No, we're gonna actually talk about specific lyrics that suck. First line, her name is Laura. We learned a lot. Congratulations on being the most specific pop song ever. Aren't you kind of afraid that that's gonna ruin the song for all of your fans who don't know somebody named Laura? On one hand, actually, that was kind of a bold move. On the other hand, the rest of the song is not specific like that at all, and Laura seems to morph into this faceless girl crush. How to do it like we do it like we wanna. Th this line makes no freaking sense. It's just meaningless pop syllables put together. They're just like buzzwords, like do it like we wanna. Lyrics not made to be thought about. I ain't one-sided, I'm open-minded. So so everyone who's not bisexual is closed-minded? I'm 50-50 and I'm never gonna hide it. You should know, you should know. Hey, I love it as much as the next person when somebody else decides what I should and shouldn't know. But I hear you, Rita, and I have written down on my list of things that I should know, Rita Ora is bisexual. Got it. All summer we've been in the boo. You can't just cut words in half. Actually, that, that's more like an eighth of a word. Just Roland J's Kush Lovin'. As if though the song wasn't controversial enough. Oh, by the way, we also smoke the doobies. And last night, yeah, we got with the dude. I saw him, he was looking at you, so I said, hey, Kush Lovin'. This this doesn't even make any sense. Is this part of the story? When you What do you mean you got with him? And how did he respond to you calling him a doobie? Then we get into the chorus. Sometimes I just wanna kiss girls, 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 red wine, I just wanna kiss girls, 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 and the rest is all repetition. In fact, out of the 39 words used in this chorus, there are only eight that are not repeats of a word that came before. You know it's gonna be a great song that really stands for something when they're only saying something 20% of the time. I put the lion in the cage and then I laid with her. Wasn't really expecting the biblical way of saying we had sex in a BB Rex Ha verse, but here we are. I'm the hunter and she the prey, yeah. I'm the thriller, I'm the killer, I'm the savior up all night. I don't know, I, I don't think I've ever heard sex described in a less sexy way. The killer, the savior, even the thriller. Ooh, I'm thrilled. Yeah, just not feeling it. She getting down with me, yeah. 
Guys, th this bridge requires a, a close, thorough, professional reading. Let's see, where's British Cliff? Oh, greetings, old chap. American Cliff asked me to read a, a, a bridge for him. So here we go. <clears throat> My best reading voice. She getting down with me, yeah, ah. She getting down with me, yeah, ah. She getting down with me, yeah, ah. Oh, we can go up. She getting down with me, yeah, ah. She getting down with me, yeah, ah. She getting down with me, yeah, ah. What the frick are you Americans listening to? I have to pay for counseling for British Cliff. And just when we thought the chorus would bore us. Oh. That rhymed. Apparently, she getting down with me. And of course, we couldn't do this completely awful song without throwing a Cardi B verse in there as well. And you guys know how rap verses are put into pop songs, right? They send the rap artist the track and they just let them make up bull crap and they sing along with it. In fact, that's the way the entire lyrics are usually written. But it's particularly bad with rap artists because we depend on them to say something meaningful. They have such power and potential to, to speak truth. And what do we get from Cardi B? complete garbage just for one night and have their funds right. I mean, what a lazy rhyme. You, you gotta be more like Eminem, Cardi B. You gotta be able to have a message and have a rhyme at the same time. But Cardi B is more like, I gotta make it sound good so I can get on the next Rita Ora track. I put this Mac on your lips so pucker up. We ain't never heard of you cause you ain't done enough. So she's gonna kiss her and then she's gonna diss her? I mean, is this about two people or just one? Because it seems like you can't make up your mind. So she just finished dissing that person that she was trying to kiss and she sings, and I don't gotta introduce myself, I'm too sexy, I seduce myself. Then why do you need to put this other person down and all of these other people down? Keep us out of your egotistical fantasies, please. And this next line is a perfect example of how Cardi B is a millionth of the talent of Eminem or just about any other rap artist who spends time thinking about what they're going to rap. Tonight I don't want a dog, I want a kitten. I might French a girl from Great Britain. Why a girl from Great Britain? Is it, I mean, you obviously she's just trying to make a pun off of French and Great Britain, but we don't care. There's no story here. There's no artistry. There's no, no intentionality. There's no purpose or point. It's just garbage. Uh, pardon my outburst, please. Uh, after villainously roasting girls by Rita Ora and the rest of her friends. I would give it negative four awesomes out of five. It is boring, unoriginal, and the only reason it's not worse is because I haven't listened to it enough to dislike it more. Also, it tries really, really hard to be shocking in a way that has come before uh, and only shows that she's unwilling to take risks as an artist and just wants to ride off of the backs of what has been focus tested um, and shown to be successful for other pop artists. The bisexual, lesbian, curious song is a trope at this point in pop music and has no place for any artist who's serious about their craft. And of course, she's a pop artist, as are many of these other artists, so not a lot of them are serious about their craft, they're serious about their cash. And that's the world we live in, guys. Remember that you can ask for more from your lyrics, and you should. You should not put up with bull crap like this. I'm legitimately emotionally tired. So, I'm gonna ask you guys, if you get the chance, check out these videos. Check out my roast of Meant to Be by Florida Georgia Line and BB Rexa. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time.